North Korea has revealed further details of its plan to fire ballistic missiles into the sea near Guam. It's now specifying it will launch four intermediate range missiles in the coming days. While most experts believe this is yet another bargaining chip for the regime's political gains, South Korea's military has sent out a strong warning against Pyongyang. Kwon Jang Ho starts us off. On Wednesday, Pyongyang announced it was carefully examining an operational plan to launch a ballistic missile strike in the areas around Guam. On Thursday, the North said they are seriously examining that threat. Extra details were announced on North Korean state media, saying that the plan entails launching four Hwasong-12 intermediate-range ballistic missiles. It said the rockets will travel over Japan exactly 3,356.7 kilometers for 1,065 seconds and hit the waters around Guam 30 to 40 kilometers away from the island. Reiterating Wednesday's statement, the purpose of the strike is said to be to deter U.S. military assets from mobilizing from the island and to send a message to Washington. Plan, it said, is set to be finalized and reported to Kim Jong-un by mid-August. The statement also slammed recent comments made by U.S. President Donald Trump. Pyongyang called Trump's threats of fire and fury a load of nonsense, saying that he failed to grasp the gravity of the situation. It added that sound dialogue is not possible with such a guy bereft of reason and that only absolute force can work on him. South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff, meanwhile, have issued a strong response to Pyongyang's threat towards Guam and other recent threats to South Korea and the U.S. They said it's a serious challenge to the Korean people and the South Korea-U.S. alliance and warned the regime against carrying out any action. If North Korea ignores our warning and carries out this provocation, they will face strong and firm punishment from our military and the South Korean-U.S. alliance. South Korea's presidential office of Chongade also announced that it would hold an emergency meeting of the National Security Council Thursday afternoon to discuss North Korea's recent threats. Kwon Jang-woo, Arirang News.